And it's refreshing to talk, to, to talk about the problem of poverty through the eyes of youth. Because when you talk about the poverty stricken and people who are already in their 30s and 40s who are just mm -hmm. really not doing anything with their lives, whereas the youth have such, such a long time for positive change. Yes. And this yes. is what you're trying to do. So right. is this a fundraising activity though? Because with all of this, you, you've got all your CEOs and mm -hmm. I'm sure a few poli politicians as well and people who can afford to help. Yes. Is this a fundraising activity? Well, it's both. It's, it's a fundraising, partnership raising kind of activity. What is a partnership raising? <laughs> that's such new. Um, it's, it's looking it's, for partners in society to help right. further the cause. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, and you have an interesting guest speaker. Yes, uh, Peggy Delaney. Maybe uh, you can talk about her a little bit. Yes, she's a fourth uh, child of uh, David Rockefeller. Yes. And uh, what she did was she set up uh, Synergos Institute. Mm -hmm. which has come up with like three different networks, one of which is the Global Philanthropy Circle, um, which is uh, what my family is part of. It's an international network of philanthropic families who would like to know more about uh, and learn more about uh, how to uh, deepen their commitment to the work they do in the world. The other group is the um, Senior Fellows, wherein it's an international network of civil society leaders around the, the, the world as well. There are about a hundred, uh, and ten are from the Philippines. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and then she also uh, set up this Young Arab Social Innovators uh, group. No. And what she'd like to do is to really provide um, access uh, to people who normally would not have access to networks or resources. No. And so this is what she's trying to do because when she was very young. She used to work in the favelas of Rio de Janeiro, okay. um, but she realized later on it wasn't really maximizing who she is you know, and what she is. And so using um, her family's uh, connections and resources, now her, the work that she does in the world is like connecting people, you know, um, really towards social justice and uh, helping the poor and the marginalized. This sounds yeah. like this event is going to be truly for positive change, but what yeah. are the tangible goals for this particular event for you? Well, for us, we'd really like to forge partnerships, genuine par partnerships, no? um, that will really um, affect genuine change uh, in this country. No? And I think, um, I believe educating the children is really the way to go. Education is really the great equalizer you know, and course. the best way to fight poverty. Okay, if you don't mind, we have a texter who'd like to ask you a question. Okay. <laughs> Presidential <laughs> bets are talking about education reform, but they're more like lip service than anything else. How should the next president improve the country's education system? That's a good question. Not that you're presidential. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it's for a debate yeah. or for a presidential forum. Um, well, for, for us, it's really, we hope that the next president can focus on the educational system and really make it um, be the top priority, no? Of course. Of, uh, We're all hoping for yeah, that, I believe, for our children. Uh, the, the government and, uh, and with a national budget as well. Um, really focusing on the quality of education no? uh, that we can give to, to all the, the students that are here. Um, there are many things. It, it, it's a very complicated issue in you know, providing a better education to our children. Um, but it's really being able to harness the resources you know, that I hear that are, you know, that even the private sector is willing to offer and to give. But they you know. don't know who to tap. Um, that is the problem necessarily. Well, uh, there are many. Mm -hmm. There are many that uh, are, are putting themselves up and offering their services. Uh, one of them is us, no? And although we've partnered, we're already partnered with them, it's really maximizing that partnership. Exactly. No? And so I hope that what we can do is really to uh, strate strategically, you know, come up with um, interventions that will be of greatest impact to the, to the students and the teachers. And we're talking about 20 million public school students. Yes which is uh, in, in thousands of islands exactly <laughs> because of our geographical makeup. But the no? Reach of Knowledge Channel, you do reach Tawi-Tawi. Yes, Batanes to Tawi-Tawi, yes. actually even 
other countries because of the footprint of the satellite. No? Um, but yes, we're in, the, in schools in Itbayat Batanes down to Sitangkai Tawi Tawi. And um, I feel that um, using the technology that we have, we can really uh, reach out Correct. more to, to the students. And with the technology of the future, the I'm sure you'll reach even more. Oh, yeah. Because at this point, yeah. you reach 3 million kids. Mm -hmm. Your goal is to probably reach all of them, isn't it? Yes. Because yes, you'd like yeah. to help each and every one right. of those two, 20, million 20 million students, public yes. school kids, and with 40,000 schools that you want to reach as well. Yes. So we want to reach all the schools and the students and the homes as well. No? Okay. Um, eventually. Of yeah. course. Rina Lopez Bautista, you really do good work. Thank you very much. Lex. And all the best on the forum and have a good week. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. And to the Knowledge Channel, all the best. Okay. Thank you very May much. May you stay around forever <laughs> <laughs> and reach the kids that you would like yes. to. Thank you very much. The stock market update is up next. Keep it here on Mornings at AMC.